Capital Combat Parlay here in studio with crew Jeff Harrison, living Ottawa legend. Welcome to the show. Hello, sir. How are you? Well, I'm great. We're really glad you're here. Let's get right to it. You are opening a new gym. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know, we're, um, we, I, I, left, uh, I left my employment with uh, Ottawa Academy of Martial Arts. Uh, you know, it was a pretty amical breakup. And, uh, you know, I decided to start our own, our own gym with a little bit of a different vision. And, you know, it's called New Era Combat Sports. And we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing our best to bring the the best possible level of Muay Thai, MMA, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and boxing into into Ottawa and in a one stop kind of shop. And it's going to be mm -hmm. sick, man! Super hey, excited. What does the name mean, New Era Combat Sports? Because I, I feel like it's got something behind it here. Oh, you know, it's just uh, I believe it's time. I, I believe a lot of the martial arts uh, industry is very archaic and it's in its philosophies and whatnot and. You know, I've been a soldier f for those for those ideologies for for many many years, and uh, you know it was start it was, it was starting to build up in me where I did I didn't I didn't necessarily agree with what I was preaching. So you know when that when that when that comes about, you just have to make two choices: either live with yourself and be unhappy, or or change it. You know what I mean? So sure. it's a new it's going to be a new era of my teaching career. Hopefully, a new era. Um, you know, for for just the community. Um, you know, because we're gonna have like open door policy. Anybody that wants to come train, come train, man. Like, why are these walls between us? You know what I mean? So basically, we're just gonna look look to provide the the best the best possible training, and uh, you know, start a new era, a new team. We're gonna be uh, you know affiliated with uh, Fernando Augusto da Silva, who's mm -hmm. who is his first ever Canadian Canadian. Um, Affiliate and it's just a new era man, and you know, I've, I've always wanted to do things where with 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 Muay Thai with this with that where you know Sometimes I just feel like I hit my ceiling a little bit mm -hmm. and I'm super excited to be in complete creative control and uh, And just kind of be the boss man. Were you time to be a boss? What would, would <laughs> you get personally out of coaching and training athletes? You've been involved in, in this sport for almost two decades now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you get out of it? What does it man. mean for you? You know, for myself, I I, I, ha I had some fights and and I won some some. You had things. a lot of fights. I, I have a lot of fights. Idea. Yeah, I had a lot of experience. You know, I had some professional MMA experience. I was kind of a journeyman. You know, I won some belts in Muay Thai, and uh, you know, I tried to always bring great honor to to my lineage and and to my instructors, um, but you know, it's just. When you work with someone, coaching's different. Coaching's so special to me because it's almost like convincing someone who maybe doesn't think that they can that they they can. You know what yeah. I mean? So if you can get in somebody's head and and uh, and and share your passion with them and, and start making them believe in themselves, then you know that's a very very powerful thing. Because if you make one person believe in themselves, then maybe they're gonna pass it on. Then maybe they're gonna pass it on. And you know, over the years, I've I've had you know probably over a thousand students. I don't even know how many students I've had. I've had a lot of students. Uh, at a bunch of different places, and and uh, you know, it's just such a rewarding thing to see someone, you know, oh, I'm nervous about this fight, I'm nervous about this fight, and all of a sudden they win, and then all of a sudden that that transcends into other areas of their life. Oh, I'm nervous about this job interview. There's yeah. no reason to be nervous. Mm. You know, it's not. So, he's not going to try and punch you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know <laughs> if I should. Have, I've, I've literally had situations like, oh, I don't know if I should apply to medical school. Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Bam. Now, you know, like, man, like... So you're almost like a life coach, you know, in a sense. Uh, there, there's aspects know, of coaching. You know, that, a psychologist, where, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a yeah, number of different agree, things. Yeah. There's, no, there's, no, there's no credentials or uh, accreditation to my... To my... <laughs> they don't <laughs> to, have the life to, coach to my, badge on the wall. To my, you know, coaching, but, but yeah. yeah, you know, through, through the power of uh, pugilism and through the power of combat sports, I believe we can change people just and change the world one person at a time, man. Bam, bam, bam. I, I think that's a That's fantastic. my mission statement, man, you know? You'll be handling the Muay Thai. At yeah. your gym, you yeah. have someone coming in for uh, Professor Pete for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Is that correct? Yeah. You Tell know, us about that. Uh, we just kind of, he kind of asked me where I went because he heard that I I had uh, I had left, and I said, yeah, you know, I th I'm thinking of doing this thing, so uh, let's do it. You know, wow. and you, like it's better than you know. I didn't know what I didn't know what I was gonna do until like it's perfect, man. Because the first time I came up. To Ottawa was to train for my professional uh, MMA debut in 2007, and you know Pete was the guy that actually spent the most time with me. You know between him and yeah. Nick, they really like Nick helped me with my takedowns. Pete was just crushing me. He was well, this he, he built a relationship. He was this he, just talked about. he was this 15 year old yeah. kid that just like murdered me, and I thought I was a tough guy. Like, oh, Muay Thai champion. Oh. <laughs> this little kid was just you know. Yeah. Killing me, so you know it's it's cool. It's kind of it's kind of like cool synchronicity there that uh, that that we're gonna go out together and you know 
he's hashtag he's a, new era. Hashtag new era <laughs> combat sports, man. And you know he's a, he's a Pat Kubikin black belt, and yeah, I think he was Pat's second black belt. And he's really got a lot of skills, and and you know all the credit to to the UAMA guys for producing him. When do you think this gym's gonna open? Do you have a hard date yet? Uh, you know we're looking at uh, we, like we're we're gonna make it nice. It's gonna be more yeah. than a gym. It's gonna be a boutique. You're taking the time. Be, it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be insane. You know we got a we got an awesome partner. Uh, in this thing that's, that's bringing a lot to the table and a lot of experience in, in both businesses. He's built up a lot of businesses and, um, and, 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 you know, like just construction and making things look good. So it's going to, it's going to be a work in progress. You yeah. know, we're going to, we're talking like, you know, <laughs> we're talking like granite walls and, you know, I, I, we got the ring, we got the cage, nice. we got all the bags, we got every kind of bag, we got Dolomir mats coming, like it's going to be a step above. You got to have us over when, I, I, when it's I done. I can't wait, man. Yeah. We'll have you at the grand opening. Like awesome. my, my, thai, my Thai teacher, a Lumpini champion is coming to teach for the first month. Yes. Like it's going to be off the chain, Ooh. you know, so um, it's going to be hopefully in November if everything goes according to plan. And uh, yeah, man, we're just gonna roll with it and roll with the momentum. And I've got a, a ton of seminars lined up. I've got some UFC fighters interested in coming out and actually wow. training and ooh, helping ooh, us. And ooh. I can't say that. Ah. Come on, but you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing experience for anybody involved. And uh, you know, just cool. looking to make our make our mark. We're really excited for you. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing this with us. And make sure you invite us to the grand opening. We'd You'll be there, man. Right. Thanks for having me, guys. Mm -hmm.